Well, good morning, YouTube. A FedEx truck just dropped off this box uh, from uh, it says Dynamic Model Limited. I think they're also known as Hobby King. And then I got these two packages from the mailman today. A small one. Uh, and on the back it says uh, XT60, 10 of them. And then this one, which I have no idea what it has. So let's uh, put that one aside here. And this one has an ominous warning sticker caution lithium ion batteries. So let's try this new knife to open these boxes. And let's see, I think this side and that side. Let's see if we can get in this thing. And I think over here. There we go. Let's see what this is. Oh, I guess it's that side. There we go. And inside we have, this is uh, yeah, Hobby King. This looks like a 5S, so it's got six wires, a 5 series balance plug. And then this is a little, um, I think this is a little battery monitor. Some warning labels, and then there's like three boxes inside. I think they're all the same thing, and yes, looks like they are. So let's see what this is. It's kind of, it's maybe 12 ounces, three quarters of a pound. And there's another box. And another and to open is a zippy. There. Let's see if we can get up close enough there. It's a 40C series, 1800 milliamp hour lithium, and it's supposedly a 5S, 5 series cell uh, lithium battery pack. So let's, uh, so this is your balance plug, and then this is the power plug. And we have this little meter here. Send this that way. And then you have, you can plug this into your, uh, have that IMAX B6 charger. And then I'll have to make up a little adapter for this. And then this is. Oh, 19.1 volts. So this runs through the five cells, number four, number five, so 19.1, and we're at 3.83, 3.84, 8.3, and 8.5. So it looks like that's a battery, five cells. And it's supposed to be 18, 19, 20 volts. So, I think there are two more of those in here, so I won't uh, bore you with those details. But let's see what this is. You can get that here. These are some of these connectors. So I need some of those to plug in there. And I think there's 10 of them. They had 10 for, I think it was 4 or $5 on eBay. And I didn't know if I needed males or females, so I just bought the uh, combination. So I mainly use the Dean's plugs, but these are the XT60s, which are pretty similar, about the same size. And I think similar capacity. So there we go. What is what is this battery for? So these first two packages 
these guys and this are going to be used to convert my dead Black & Decker 18 volt NICAD battery to lithium polymer. So why did I choose one of these RC battery packs instead of uh, using uh, like the used uh, laptop batteries and the 18650 cells? A few reasons I suppose. First is that these RC packs are fairly inexpensive. This one was just about $20. They have a decent capacity and a current rating of the 40C refers to the current capacity in relation to the or this is the discharge rate in relation to the capacity so 40 times 1800 milliamps is 72 amps continuous current and I think they're rated at 50 C intermittent which is 90 amps and they're pretty much the perfect size to fit in the Black & Decker battery box or battery uh, case and they're pre-wired I don't have to do any all I have to do is solder a connector on to the Black & Decker battery connector and they're ready to go inside the pack with the used laptop batteries I'd have to spend time tearing apart the battery pack cleaning and testing each cell and then with all the good, good cells out of the test I'd have to group them into batches of five because I need five series cells so I'd have to get five batteries with similar capacities to make balanced uh, battery packs out of so figuring the cost of the raw used laptop batteries at about two dollars each it just wasn't worth my time to mess around with te testing a whole bunch of those to save a few dollars it would cost me you know if I got five perfect cells it would be ten dollars and this was under twenty and then not to mention all my time to uh, to do all the testing and then no telling how much life is left in those used cells and then the other unknown with that is you don't know if you're getting protected or unprotected cells until you open them up and I've seen a few videos here on YouTube where folks had issues with uh, using those batteries in power tools and having the power tool not run well off the protected cell and as you saw in my testing in in part three of this video series I saw 25 to 35 amps of current draw and I could see why protected cells might shut off thinking that 35 amps is pretty close to a short circuit and I think this is why the 10 amp BMS board I looked at mentioned it was not designed for power tool use so these RC packs are brand new and they should give many years of service and they are designed for running electric motors which is what I plan to do with them now the one downside of a lipo pack like this is that if one of these five cells uh, goes bad you pretty much have to throw out the whole pack you can't just unsolder one of these cells uh, you might be able to tear it apart but <laughs> it would be probably not worth the the time to repair it so anyway let me plug this battery into my IMAX B6 charger and and make sure it's topped off and then I'll be back uh, for the first test shortly so check back for the next part of this video series and be sure to comment if you have any questions and and then be sure to rate and share this video Stay tuned and you can subscribe to be notified when the next uh, part of the video is, is ready to post when I have time to test these out. Looks like uh, I'll check out all three batteries and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next installment.